Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see, we're going to be planning in my Hair at Right Designs planner, and we are using this very old kit from Simply Gilded. This is from her old subscription box. Um, I do have a full flip of this on my channel, and I will leave in the, the, in the I card up above. Um, that is the one where I go through pretty much the whole kit, tell you everything that comes in it. Um, so... I will have that linked up above, though, for you guys. I am using these um, Beyond Paper Flowers. Oh, my gosh. Um, what are they called? Like, Highlight. Um, oh, my goodness. I'm having a brain fart. Like, Highlight of my week, basically. They're just little highlighters, the mild liners, and then it says Highlight. Um, to mark the highlight of my week. And then I showed you the washi that I have for this week. And this is from TPC Nation. I will have that linked down below. Uh, but yeah, so this is last week. I will have that linked up above in the I card for you guys as well. Um, I just love how this turned out. This, oh, I just love it so much. Okay, so I am going to lay down the base of the kit and everything else, get it all down, and then I will just speed you through this and have music going for you guys so you can watch me do that, and I will catch you back in a sec for the day by day. Okay, y'all, so here we are for the day by day. I'm just going to get you zoomed in, and we're just going to start on Monday. So I did pre-pull everything. Um, I used a lot of this kit, y'all. Um, and then I am going to pull in these Sadie Stickers um, little foil bits. Um, yeah, I don't think I showed you that, guys all camera but I did pull in some of these like some bees and stuff like that from Sadie stickers uh I'm pretty sure it was all from Sadie stickers I'm pretty sure um that flower right there some Sadie stickers as well but anyway so on Monday the first thing I marked was that I shadowed Jess Jess is my boss 
And on Monday, I just shadowed her and kind of walked through her day with her, basically. Well, walked through a couple hours with her, not her day. Um, and then I, uh, was that to mark my new book? I did start a new book this day. Um, I started Last Girl Ghosted. Um, so far, it's really good. I've been really liking it. Um, I just, I mean, I really like it. That's all I can say. Okay, then I had a meeting with our librarian to say that um, script is from Bodacious Prints. The script, uh, the Shadow Jess script I made myself, I will have my video of how I make my own script linked in the i card above as well for you guys. Um, excuse me. Um, I can't, I, I don't remember what I marked at the top of the day. So I guess I'm going to have to pull out my pan over you guys because this isn't going to work. Just me relying on the video. Um, but yeah, so, okay. Um, I did shadow my, um, boss. I had started a new book, Last Girl Ghosted. So good. Oh, by the way, on the sidebar, I pulled in that box. I think I showed it to you that Monday to Sunday box is from Avalon and Ninth. Um, it is from her, what is that called? Functional sub that she has. I absolutely love her functional sub. I use it in my DPC Nation hybrid planner all the time. Okay. Anyways, um, I started a new book. I met with our librarian this day to just talk about stuff. I had a uh, schoolwork that was due on Wednesday that I had to meet with her about because it was about it's all about budgeting and the small group budget that my principal picked for me to look at was her budget, so I had to go um, starting on um oh my goodness. After that I marked that I did some homework this day. Um, then, uh, that night we watched Chicken Little. This is a little out of order. We had some family time that night as well. And I marked that with a script from, um, White Rose Printables, I believe is her name. Um, I believe that's her name, but it will be linked down below. Uh, and then I worked out this day as well. And then that script again is from Bodacious Prince, who is no longer open. I'm so sorry about that. So... As you saw in the the kit, it did have icons with it. So all the gray, excuse me, all the gray icons I tried to pair with one of those orange stickers from Sadie Stickers, just to kind of give it a little bit more pop of orange. And then, yeah, I really liked it. Okay, on to Tuesday again. I shadowed my boss. I kind of marked it in the same way. Um, then it was $2 Tuesday for mainly planner taco I bought from her and I spent way too much, but I absolutely love her. She is one of my favorite planner or like foiled shops. Mm, love her so much. So I did pair that with a script from Audacious Prints and another one of those flowers from City Stickers. Then I lesson planned. I got all of our lesson plans done for the week that day. And then I had an a delivery from Amazon come in that day. So I marked that. And then um, it was bath night for my daughter. So that icon is from Bodacious Prince, the bath night script I made myself. That is just to mark that she had her bath. And then the I also organized stickers up to the end of the night. And that script is from Kinsey's um, Creations. Uh, I don't think she's open anymore. But if she is, I will leave her links down below. If she's not, it will just stay closed or no longer open, whatever. Okay, and moving on to Wednesday. So pretty much all the icons, and there's a couple at the end of the week that are not from the kit, but all those heart icons you're seeing me use and some of the circle ones and the flag ones are all from the kit. Okay, that box that I'm putting down now is from the kit, but I cut it down. It was actually a full box, and I just cut it down to use it as a half box and I'm turning it on its side because I wanted to mark a big thing that happened that day but I'm going to get to that in just a sec so starting on Wednesday I had a video go live that script I made myself um oh and those little like honeycomb things that I'm using are from Sadie stickers as well um the f the big florals like not the like f the not the flower that you see on Tuesday right there the one that I'm a lot of the big ones that I put down on, like, some of the flags and stuff, those are from Planner Choco. Um, but anyways, so 
On Wednesday, I turned in my paper. That script I made myself. My mom got my taxes done for me this day. Uh, and then I filmed That Is From Plan For Happy, that little film um, icon slash script right there. Okay, and then this day, the big thing that happened was I signed my contract, y'all. So I signed my 2022-2023 contract, so I will be employed by the same employers for next year, and I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah. Okay. And then at the bottom, I marked that I worked out, and you will see that in just a second. Um, Chris got me, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Chris got me a little stair stepper. We thought it was an elliptical. It is not an elliptical. It's totally a stair stepper. So I've been working out about three times a week on it, and I'm slowly building up my stamina on it and getting to where I can do longer and longer. And I am up to about 13 minutes, I think, is how long I'm on, how long I'm on it for. So, and that's pretty good. I mean, it's a stair stepper, y'all. This thing is, it's hard. Um, but I'm up to 30 minutes, 13 minutes on it, and I'm just continuing to do my, build myself. Okay, on to Tuesday. I Both of the um, computers I'm going to put down are from Peanut Butter, Peanut Butter and Taco. Peanut Butter and Taco, I believe, is the name of the shop. Uh, but I... They're very old. I bought these a very long time ago. Um, I don't know if she still has these, but I'm using them. So I put those down. And the first one is to mark that I worked on my scope art scope and sequence for the following year. And by by working on it all, I mean I got it done. Um, our scope and sequence is completely done for next year, which is so very exciting. Um, I usually work on that stuff during the summer, but I have a lot of other projects of things that I want to do during the summer. So, and I want to spend more time with my daughter during the summer. Um, so yeah, we are doing that. I already did that. Oh my gosh, and y'all, okay, I just want to talk for a quick sec. I tried to, I was going to sign my daughter up for some swim lessons, and the place I was going through, already completely booked, and their wait list is completely booked. So, if you live in the Waco area, Central Texas, Waco area. And you know of any swim lessons, like swim classes, like mommy and me classes for a, she'll be about 18 months come June. So May she'll be 16 or 17, sorry, 17 months. Um, I'm looking June, July for some swim lessons for her. I just wanted something fun to do this summer with her. Some fun little things and swim lessons is one of those things and I'm just not having any luck finding any and I don't know if a lot of parents that have younger kids a lot of the parents that I'm around have older kids and a lot of them just didn't do swim lessons and that's fine I just I want to do something with my daughter that that's what I'm talking about that little flowery bit you saw the flower thing too it's from all from um Clara Chaco um but yeah so I just I mean I just want to do something fun with her just let me know if you know of any, if you live in that area. So my mom's also looking into her area for any around her area. And if she doesn't, my cousin has a pool and we might just be going and staying and spending a lot of time with my mom and going to my cousin's pool. Simple as that. <laughs> so, okay. Anyways. Um, so Thursday we worked, I finished our scope and sequence. We, I signed up for a GT class to take this summer. It's a virtual class, which I'm not as thrilled about, but it'll be okay. Um, it's August 1st. The one I really wanted to go to, I couldn't go to because summer school is hitting it like really like smack dab in the middle and summer school is a little bit more important because I can get paid for that. Um, so, and I, uh, the GT class is just an update. I am certified to teach GT, GT kids, which is gifted and talented students in my class. I actually have seven this year in my class. Um, so I am certified to teach them in my class and, uh, well not teach them, but to, um, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for to, I can't think of the word, but I am the, whatever it is, I'm, that's what I am able to do that. So, uh, every year you have to get re like not recertified, but you have to like, um, update your, or get so many hours. You have to get like a six hour, uh, refresher course in it. So 
I did that. Um, and yeah, so sign up for that. Me and my team teacher are going to do that refresher course together at the school. We'll already be working in our classrooms at that time, so we will just go up there, work on it, and voila. Um, yeah. Okay, and then it was bath night, so that bath um, icon that you see me using is from Print Petticoat Bandit. She is a printable shop. Um, so is Plan for Happy. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, but if you are able to print and cut your stuff yourself, I highly recommend both of those shops. I absolutely love them. Print Petticoat Bandit has great kits, great icons, great. Um, she's got some foil-ready items, too, where you can print, cut, and foil them yourself. Um, she's got, like, a wide variety of items. Um, and then Plan for Happy has amazing icons. Like, I just used another Plan for Happy icon right there, that little pin. Um and she's got so many different ones. It's amazing. Okay. On to... Or no, I'm still on Thursday. Just kidding. Uh, I put... I, Madison got a stool. So when I mean a stool, I bought her one of those stool, those counter stools, to where she can stand in it and, like, stand at the counter with me. And she loves it, y'all. Like, she just loves watching us cook and stuff. So I knew, she, I knew it would be good for her. But she is in love with that little stool. Like, that little stool is her new favorite thing in the whole entire world. She loves being able to stand in it. She loves being able to watch what we're doing. She tries to help, um, but it's just the cutest thing. She loves it. So I bought, we I got that in that day, and I put it together. And then I edited and uploaded, and both those scripts are from Ruby Trev. Um, moving on to, I'm so far behind. Um, moving on to Friday. So Friday was payday for me. That payday script is from Bodacious Prince. No, no, no. Payday for Chris. Just kidding. My payday was the week before. Um, it was payday for Chris. And then it was the first day of April. So I wrote hello, or I used a script from Bodacious Prince again to say hello, April. Um, I graded again from Bodacious Prince. I'm so sorry about that. And the icon is from Plan for Happy. Another script from Bodacious Prince, Work Out. And then that icon that I use next is from Print Petticoat Bandit. And that is just to mark that we did an art project. So we did this really cool um, art project with shaving cream. And I'm going to tell you other if I have any teachers or if I have any mothers that want to do like fun stuff with their kids. It's shaving cream. And you basically spray the shaving cream all over a cookie sheet. Um, and then you drop... Um, paint on top, like the little droplets of all the different color paints. I let the kids pick whatever color they want. And then you kind of, you don't mix it, but you kind of like, um, mix in the paint a little bit. Then you take your paper. So we had a paper that had an egg on it. You stick it on top, um, and push it down so you can make sure that it gets on there. You pull it up, scrape off the shaving cream, and you let it kind of dry. We let it dry over the weekend since it was Friday. And then they cut out their egg, and it was the coolest thing. It left the coolest patterns. I wish I would have got a video for you guys, and I could have inserted it here. But it was so neat. Um, the kids loved it. They loved doing little art projects, and I love being able to do that with them this year. So we did that on Friday, and then... Um, I did some planning time. That script is from British Prince. The icon is from Plan for Happy. I cleaned the house. Well, I didn't clean the house. I cleaned the family room. So clean house script is from British Prince. Um, I got McDonald's for us this night. Um, and then it was April Fool's. And I played some tricks on my kids, y'all. So the first trick I played was when they came to the door, I had a sign on the door that said, please use other door. We don't have another door to our classroom. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, and then the next trick was I, trick I had a... Um, uh, oh my goodness, a word search that didn't have of the, any of the words in the word search. It was hilarious listening to them talk about that. Um, and then the last one was I brought brownies. I cut out E's out of brown paper. It's so freaking hilarious. So, um, had that, uh, on Monday or on a uh, Friday, Tuesday, Titan had a vet appointment. He also had a grooming appointment this day, but we canceled it because, um, it, he was already too overwhelmed. He had to get shots this day at the vet. He had to get his shot updates. And, um, we had to start him a meds this day for his cough because he's been having this really bad cough here lately. So, um, we're also have to get him a new, um, he doesn't really wear a collar around the house, but anytime we leave the house, anytime he goes anywhere, we put his collar on and they want us to get him a harness instead of a collar because, um, 
so it's better on his neck as well, on his throat. So the vet appointment is from Wild Summer Designs. And then Chris got breakfast burritos. Chris also went to his grandma's this day and picked out some items. His grandma passed away a while back, if you remember. And this day, all the cousins were going to house and picking out anything that they wanted to keep for themselves. And then um, we played outside this day, Madison and me. Um, we took a nap this day. The script is from Ice Cream Joe. Um, and then what else happened? And then, oh, I'm about to write everything in for you guys. Um, but that is how the week turned out. I'm so sorry I missed some of the stuff. But nothing else kind of exciting happened this weekend. But, yeah. So, here is a flip through of what I have left in the kit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry I didn't get to, like, talk about the whole entire week. But I had lots of fun stories for you guys. So, please enjoy. I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.